ESL signal. ESL signal. Let's see how long it takes. Thousand two. It's about two to three seconds. At the stops, it's got its bracket order there. Look at the uh, the trade log. It was at uh, 11:32 and 33 seconds. Now, if I look at uh, the TWS and look at the execution report, trades, it executed at 11.32 and 39 seconds. So, signal fired at 33 seconds, and then we got filled at 39 seconds. So, there's a total of... Uh, Six seconds between the, the actual signal and actually getting filled. I'll bring up the uh, that report. Here it is. It's eleven thirty-two and thirty-nine seconds. This trade here has a 1.5 stop and a 3.75 target. It uh, just sold right near the upper Bollinger Band. So its target is going to be at 945.5. Just going to put us down here somewhere. Let's see if it works. It does. It has a trailing stop. Um, Break even trigger is going to fire at 1.75. Trail trigger is going to be 1.25. So it has to be in the money by 1.25 or 5 ticks before it starts uh, trailing the stop. <coughs> we got filled on this at 949.25. So pretty much it executed. Sell, sell, yes, sell signal. Executed right there at the, the bottom of this uh, reversal bar. Signal actually uh, went off. I guess it was 940. Right there. 1130. Uh, 11.32. 11.33. So it did. It did fire on this bar here, 11:32 bar. It fired before the bar was closed. Okay, if you notice the tick, the tick is uh, negative 430. So the tick is uh, fairly bullish right now. And let's look at the dome here. I say bullish or bearish? Kind of bearish. Trade in the money by three ticks, two to three ticks. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and watch this. See how this trade performs. <coughs> You know, six seconds really isn't that bad. If you're running strategies off of uh, based around five minute period, then it's really not that bad. All right, now we are uh, five ticks in the money. The uh, trailing stop should kick in here pretty soon, as soon as we get down to 47.5. I'd 
like to see the uh, trailing stop here on IV. See what it does. All right, there's the trailing stop on bracket trader. It just kicked in at 9:49, so we're uh, break even plus one on that. Trailing it down. Let's see, it's uh, two points in the money now. Target's down here. Notice it's uh, it's trailing it down. Now on IV here. We don't actually see a uh, the stop, yeah, the stop is actually getting trailed down. You can see the stop's at 9.48 now. Just hit the lower Bollinger Band, the 46.5. Two and a half points in the money. want to see this uh, trailing stop update one more time I could manually adjust this down if I wanted. So one tick away from our target. Yeah, the trailing stop didn't uh, fire. It needs to. So we got two, four. I'm gonna move this down a couple ticks. See if that trailing stop gets hit again. I want to see that trailing stop kick in. I go in here and manually adjust the trail increment down to 0.5. Let's see what that does. .75. So I'm uh, I'm adjusting the trail settings right now to see if it uh, tightens it up. Starting to get some volume here. Tick is still negative on this little bounce here. Intra bar. our trailing stop right here it hasn't lowered yet our original target was right here at 45.5 but I adjusted it down just to see if I could get that trailing stop to ratchet down So if I had a uh, order at that lower Bollinger Band, it would have been, uh, let's see, the max we got on this trade was 49.25, so we've got uh, three and a half points maximum favorable excursion so far. Original stop was uh, at... 50.75 the tick is at uh, 200 now it's about the neutral line if uh, the tick can stay under 200 <clears throat> it's likely to push back down for another uh, couple bars here maybe retest at 946 945. 